This is a complete walkthrough guide of the tall tale Stars of a Thief in Sea of Thieves with all the commendations and how to get them. In order to begin the tall tale, you need to go to the North Star Sea Post, which is at the top left-ish area of the map. At the sea post, there'll be a guy standing with a table, and on the table there'll be a Stars of a Thief voyage that you can start. Starting out with the journals, the first one is located north of you at Rum Runner Isle. You'll find the first one of Sud's notes in this book right over here. The second journal book is located on Crescent Isle at this location directly over there. You'll find he's set up on the rocks over here at that location, and you'll find the book in the crate next to his stuff over there. You'll find the third book at Plunder Valley at this location right here, pretty much at the top of the island in the middle. You'll see it's near the island beacon, so right to the left of the beacon, you'll find it in this crate over here, and that is the third book. The fourth journal is located on Snake Island, right in the middle version towards the northern side. This one is located just a drop down to the right of his setup over here, so it's not by any of these things, you just have to actually look to the other side. And that is his fourth journal. His fifth journal is located at Devil's Ridge at this location right at the top of the island. You'll find he's set up right at the tallest rock on the island on that side where I marked, and you'll find his actual book under these scrolls right on this side over here. Assuming you're starting from the North Star Sea Post, and your first page of your book starts out with Face the North Star, the island you need to head to is literally north of you at Rum Runner Isle. What you're looking for is at that area that I marked, there is a lantern hanging off of a palm tree, and you need to dig directly under it, and this is where you'll find a chest that will have the enchanted spyglass. However, if your first page says, with your back to the North Star, then the island will be directly south of you, and this will be the Twin Groves. You'll need to dig at somewhere, one of these locations between these two rocks here. It should be around this area here somewhere, you just have to keep digging between some of these rocks. Alright, so moving on to the next stage of the Tall Tale, you'll see there's a bunch of pages in your book here. Now if you go over the constellations and you go to the first page that has words where it just says, like, the patient one, you'll basically have two of these different stories, and these will lead you to Star Jewels, which you need two of them. I'm going to show you the starting words of each story and the location and the island where you need to go get the Star Jewel at. If one of your stories starts with the Great Eagle Landing, you need to go to Lone Cove. At this location, you can see where to dig it up as well, so that's where you get it. If one of your stories starts with the Man Who Lost His Gem, this means you need to go to Mermaid's Hideaway, and you need to swim into a underwater cave at this location. If your story starts with a Hunt, you need to go to the Reaper's Hideout, and you need to swim off into the shore at this distance to go get it in the water. If your story starts with Lost an Eye, you need to go to Shark Bait Cove, and you need to swim in this location on the, on the island and get it in the water. If your story starts with the Patient One, you need to go to Thieves Haven, and between the campfire and the front of the ship, you need to dig at that location. If your story starts with Battle in the Heavens, you need to go to Mutineer Rock at this location, and you need to dig up there between the rocks. If your story starts with Sea Queen's Promise, you need to go to the Isle of Lost Words Island, and you need to dive into the water at this location. If your story starts with They Were Voyagers, you need to go to Discovery Ridge Island, and go to the northwestern side and swim in the water to go find the gem. And lastly, if you have Snake's Deception as your story, you need to go to Rapier K Island, and you can literally just find it at this location. It's kind of easy. When you have both of the Star Jewels, you're going to sail to N13 on the map, that is N13, this location over here. You'll see there's a small island at this location. When you get onto the island, you'll see there's two red plants. You can basically head to the west of the island and jump into the water. Here you'll see a sunken ship, but you will also see these pillars over here that will lead to the inside of a cave. So you're just going to swim along until you reach the end of the path. After you swim up into the cave entrance, you'll see you'll have the two jewels and you'll have a giant like statue in front of you, the ancient statue. You can put the two jewels in its eyes and then it will basically open up. Do make sure you, however, take the notes that are at the front there and then take the totem. Now you should notice that your totem will have a name before it, like a crab totem, or boar totem, moon totem, scarab totem, snake totem, or shark totem. This means you need to go to a different ancient vault, depending on the name of your totem. So I'm going to give you a list of all the ones and where you have to go. So if you have the shark totem, you need to head to the vault on Kraken's Fall at this location. If you have the scarab totem, you need to head to Crook's Hollow at this location. If you have the Boar Totem, you need to head to Devil's Ridge at this location. If you have the Snake Totem, you need to head to Mermaid's Hideaway Vault at this location. 
If you have the Moon Totem, you need to head to Crescent Isle Island at this location. If you have the Crab Totem, you're pretty much in luck because you just stay where you are on Ain 13 Island and you just pick up the Crab Totem and you just turn around and you walk to the wall that's literally behind you with all the crab kind of pictures on the wall, find the square cutout on the thing, place the totem and this will unlock the vault for you to go inside. Inside the vault, you're going to need to do a puzzle. Before you light the braziers and you have to do the combination puzzle, you'll see the last page of your book, you have a story. Now, I'm going to give you the first line of the story. The old judge spoke to those who listened, and I'm going to give you the first line for every single option that you get, and then you're going to type in the combinations that are for you. So when you're ready to begin, just light the braziers and then get ready to change the cubes into the right animals. So if your story starts out with the warmonger was angry, the first puzzle combination you're going to use is the great warrior, flame, the bird, and then the leaf. And then you go press the button on the altar, and then you come back and you put the arrow, the shark, the scarab, and then the great warrior again. And then that should complete your puzzle. If your story starts with a tear of the sun fell down to land, then your part one of your puzzle is going to be fire, the boat, the great warrior, the scarab, and then you press the button, and then the second part of your puzzle is going to be the crab, the fish, the turtle, and then the mermaid. If your story begins with old mother was angry, then your first combination is going to be the kraken, the mermaid, the boat, fire, and then your second combination after pressing the button is going to be bird, snake, boat, and then warrior. If your story starts with an old one raised a spit of land, then your first combination is going to be the turtle, great warrior, a boat, and then the fish. And then you press the button and your second combination is going to be boat, bear, boar, and great warrior again. If your story begins with old judge spoke to those who listened, your first combination is going to be bear, fish, scarab, and then turtle. Then you press the button and your second combination is boat, boar, crab, and then snake. If your story starts with the queen plotted, your combination number one is going to be the mermaid, the shark, the scarab, the great warrior. Then you're going to press the button and the second part of the combination is the shark, the great warrior, the arrow, and then the kraken. You'll know you did it correctly when the back wall starts to lower and you can see there is a shroud breaker stone available for you to take. Now all you have to do is take the stone to the North Star Sea Post, and then you can give the stone to Sud, and this will end the Tall Tale Stars of a Thief. And that is how you complete it with all commendations. You do have to do it five times in order to get all of the commendations, so good luck. I hope the guide was helpful, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching.